Hey everybody, uh, Christian Harris does acting. I am your host, Christian Harris! Um, yes, this is the series where I talk to artists and say, Hey, can I, your art's really cool, can I please make stupid voices for your art and ruin your reputation and possibly all of your followers? And generally, and by that I mean the people who respond generally are like, Yeah, this is awesome. Like, I don't know why you, you are all so excited for this. I'm, I'm genuinely excited, but like, I'm an idiot. I don't know why everybody keeps doing this. But as long as you all keep saying yes, I'm going to keep doing this because I love it and it's very fun. Uh, so today, today uh, I am collaborating with the artist, Miss Marston. That's really sad in a booth all by myself. Okay. Um, so I made sure to choose for my audience because I know how much you love tieflings. I picked out a tiefling and a handsome, handsome tiefling at that. Portrait sketch practice, trying to get better at painterly. I don't, I don't know what that is. Sexy tiefling man. He is sexy tiefling man. Um. I think painterly is like a style of, of, of art, right? Painterly? I don't... I don't know. Okay, so, sexy tiefling man. Uh, agreed, very handsome, uh, chiseled jaw, got that uh, pointed ear, he's got that like... I like, I like the kind of ribbed um, horn, it's very nice. And you can see how it like it bends back and it just rotates backwards. His hair is on point. I like a guy with cool hair. He's got like a little goatee that makes him look a little rugged. Man, he is he is handsome. He's probably a model. Is he represented by anybody? Um. So I mean, yeah. He just. Uh, so all of my handsome men are a little deeper. Sometimes go airy, but I don't really feel like he's airy. Oh, you know what he could though? Uh, he looks like he kind of looks like Brad Pitt. And when I think of Brad Pitt, I obviously think of when he tries to go. He does that Irish accent. Um, or in Ocean's 13, 11, 12, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Um, just, yeah, he's got, like, a normal dude voice, probably. Just, I don't even know. Like, yeah, I saw, saw you looking at me from across the tavern. Have, uh, <laughs> this beam of light across my face wherever I go. It, it, it is a spell. It's called prestidigitation. Makes me look better. Not that I need it, obviously. But, uh, yeah, can I buy you an ale? Barkeep, uh, two ales, and keep them coming. Yeah, so, um, what are you up to later? And by that, I mean, uh, I have a spare key to my room in this tavern. He's a pervert. Yeah. You know what? I don't even think he needs to try that hard, because he is just a handsome, handsome man. I think that's what people come up to him and say. <laughs> you know? Like, people are buying him drinks. Like, I, I have a handsome friend. Who I remember, like, people would, females mostly, would fall over themselves just to talk to him. And I just, it, it confused my brain, because, I mean, yeah, he's handsome, but, oof, come on. But that's this guy. So, maybe he's a bit more aloof, instead of quite so heavy-handed. Yeah. Maybe he's, like, philosophical. Because he kind of looks like it. He looks like he's deep in thought. <laughs> or uh, maybe he's high charisma, low intelligence. So he has the look like he's deep in thought. But he's not thinking about much. I'm going to ruin this character. I apologize, Miss Marston. Yeah. So when I went into the 
general store. Did I buy one or two bags of 1,000 ball bearings? Hmm. Because if I had two, that's 2,000 balls. I could do a lot with that. Yeah. Oh. My party's getting into a fight. <sighs> Maybe I could use that bag of ball bearings. <laughs> All right. That's enough on this sexy, sexy tiefling man. Next up is this guy. I like this guy a lot. He's got a really cool expression on his face, really cool facial hair. He kind of reminds me of that DJ whose name I super remember. I 100% remember his name. Don't even, I'm, you know, I remember, I'm not even gonna... I dropped my glasses. I really hope I don't step on those later because I need those to see. Legally, I can't drive with them. But there's a, you know what? I don't drive right now. I gonna forget what I was talking about. Portrait study to practice painterly style. So the same info as the guy before. But this guy is a lot more serious and he's, he's elfy, but he's definitely half elf because elves don't grow facial hair. Fun fact. So he's a half elf and he's a serious half elf. So, oh man, he's got some pretty cool face. I, li I like his mustache, the whole thing. He's a cool, and his hair's nice, slick back, very serious. Um, let's see here. He's wearing armor, so he's not a caster, so that's interesting. Um, that's heavy armor. Okay, I was gonna make him an archer, but that's heavy armor. What are, maybe he's a paladin. Because half-elves make pretty decent paladins. Um, mm, I feel like he's a lot more whispery. Yes, I serve my god, my deity. He is of the human pantheon, as that's where I was raised. I can't think of his name right now because I don't, it does, you, you, I, here's my symbol. So that's my deity, you know, uh, but I fight for justice and I fight for freedom and I fight against oppression and I fight for the equality of all. I was raised not fitting in with the humans, not fitting in with the elves. The church took me in and made me into a paladin. And I appreciate that. And I fight. Oh, it says knight. You know what, though? Like, paladins are knights. So I'm just going to step all over that. And he's a cool character, though. I like him a lot. I like him a lot. We are going to go in the dire direct opposite of Tone. Uh, so now, those were two that I picked, because I needed a tiefling, and then the the elf was just way too handsome to pass up. Um, the next two are picked by Miss Marston uh, directly. So this first one is a changeling named Seven. Uh, they are a changeling, meaning they can shift into any humanoid creature gender or race um uh this is this seems like it's a personal D, &D character of miss marston uh is a few centuries old and has lived many lives but has a childlike excitement to things so to me that's like oh wow that is very tiny on my screen why are you so tiny why are you so tiny i'm gonna go to okay you know what not worth it so tiny um, so we got a roguey type character with the, 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 the arm wraps and the, the hood. I like, I'm going to have to like really get, it's really small on my screen. If I could get away with it, I would 100% wear eye makeup. But like, I'm not an angsty teen anymore. So that's unfortunate. It's actually really 
complete aside here. So I do theater from time to time. I don't do it right now because there is a virus that turns people into cordyceps and they fungus on their face and then they attack people. It's a real blunder. Um, but before all that, you know, people were eating each other. Uh, I did theater. And on theater, you have to wear makeup. I hated it in high school, but I did theater uh, this past December and January in 2019, 2020. And uh, in 2020, I learned how to do my own makeup. My niece taught me. She was very patient with me. And I kind of would like, I, I kind of realized I like how I look in makeup. Like, I don't know, like it smooths out. Like, you can see, I just, I'm just not very, I don't know, consistent in coloring. So I don't know, that's, obviously I like to do my hair. This is ridiculous. I love it. It's so tall. Um, but yeah, anyways, all that aside, seven, let's go back to seven. I'm not really sure why they're called seven. I would love the story on that, but so generally rogues are, are quiet, I think by they're mysterious by nature. So and then a changeling. I don't know, this this changeling looks very soft and very gentle which is very funny for like a rogue because you know, it's like stab, lots of damage. But um, yeah, I feel like uh, softer spoken, childlike excitement. So uh, enthusiasm, enthusiasm. Yeah, a bit lighter. Maybe maybe a bit of an accent, just just a touch. Nothing, nothing over the top. But yeah, my name's Seven. It's nice to meet you. I'm, I'm a changeling, please don't hold that against me. <laughs> I know that uh, many people don't really trust changelings because they can change into anybody, but I only ever do it in service to the greater good. Uh, I, I, I promise I won't, I won't try to take over your life and, and kill you and replace you. I promise that's not the kind of changeling that I am. I'm, I'm one of the good ones, <laughs> which, you know, it's a very racist thing to say, but that's that's the world that we live in, unfortunately. Um, it's, it's good to meet you. Uh, what kind of job do you have in mind for us? Uh, is it an assassination? I'm very good at those. Uh, as you may well believe, as a changeling, I'm very good at infiltration. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can transform into, any, into anyone and get in and, and infiltrate the security and get right up close to the target. Generally, I, I, I'm a one person team when it comes to assassinations yeah um or is it espionage i'm very good at that as well i'm very good at a lot of things i think being a changeling is, is very advantageous to have on a team to be honest you can do a lot of things yeah i like that that sounds that sounds like a good character that'd be a fun character to play um next up we're going just a complete 180. So this one's an actual paladin. Warrior paladin. Dragonborn. The picture's so tiny. I think it's because like I have my audio recorder in one port. I like how I turned into Goofy. I have my one in the one port there, and then that's not Goofy. Whatever. Go gosh! And then I have my video recorder, then I have my pictures down here, which is why it's so tiny. I just don't want to, like, lose recordings anymore. It makes me crazy. So, um, oh, I would really love to have this bigger, though. Let me, okay. At the risk of losing my recordings, I'm going to, uh, go into where I keep, it's alphabetical. Alphabetical, Miss Marston, and Dragonborn. Bigger! Oh, full screen! Okay, so this is a really cool Dragonborn. I generally like the Dragonborns they have in the book, like the 5th ed edition book. I don't like them. They're very weird looking. Like, oh, they're very finny. I like this Dragonborn. He's got a very cool, very unique, like, snout. And he's got, like, the tusks going up and down. A big powerful looking tail with the rings and like the, like the sunken in eyes and the he's just that is a cool cool dragonborn 
Now out of paranoia, I'm going to check my recordings. Great. Um, so yeah, he's big. Um, big, 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 big and growly. Now again, whenever I go growly, I often go Cockney. Let's try. Let's try to do another accent with it. Oi. Oh, he doesn't have a name. Does he have a name? D&D, &D, procreate. Art, procreate drawing, procreate. Hashtag, hashtag, geek nerd. No name. Let's think of a name for him. Oi. They call me. Uh, oh. Franken. Frankenfarten. Oh no. That's a terrible name. And that means that my accent has to change. There. Frankenfarten. Well, I'm stuck with it now. No, I'm not. I'm going back on it. I got no name for him. Oh! I took a vow that I must vanquish 100 and undead before I can reclaim my name. That is my knight's vow. Yes, this is a great workaround because I can't think of any names. But uh, when I come into battle against the undead, I first, as most paladins might use their turn undead to make them run away. No, not I. Not I. I come in and I whip my tail and I smash them with my hammer and I give them a, a divine smite. And then, to finish them off, I will pull this great sword off my back and swing and chop them all in half. Aye. Aye, he's so cool. He's a, he's a cool Dragonborn. I've never played a Dragonborn, generally because I hate the way they look, which is profiling, and that's it's very shallow of me. But if my paladin, if my Dragonborn looked like that, also that voice makes my throat raw. I need to, I need to figure out how to make voices like that without destroying my throat. Um, but yeah, that's all of the characters that I have prepared for Miss Marson. Thank you, Miss Marson. You're the best around. No one's ever gonna get you down. Um, that's the end of my video. My name is Christian Harris. Visit my website, ChristianHarris.com. Visit me Instagram. Visit me Instagram at uh, Christian Harris Does Acting. Um, my Twitter, Christian Does Act. My Facebook, Christian Harris Does Acting. I have a LinkedIn. Do I use it? Well, I'm not even really sure. Um, yeah, check out my demo. Check out my other videos on here. Share them. Like them. Um, I'm begging you. Please. Uh, or if you want to uh, interact with me directly, I do run D&D games for a little bit of a fee. And I DM people, uh, or I teach people the complete basics of D&D if you want to get into it for a one-on-one sessions. Or if you want to start DMing yourself, you can pay me and I can teach you how to do that. Anyways, thank you for watching this episode, everybody. Bye! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah.